hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian, and if you're just joining for the first time, you're welcome. Today we'll be talking about an interesting topic um, titled of "Money Matters in Relationship," and I'm here with my friends um, Timmy Tope and Benga. But I want them to do like a proper introduction for themselves. So, can you please introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Timmy Tope, and I am an animator. Okay, thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Benga, a network engineer, and nice to be on this show with Bam Learning. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so today we'll be talking about uh, money, money and relationship. So let me ask you, are you for uh, no romance, no finance, no finance, no romance, or stuff like that? For me, no money, no romance. It's simple. Really? Straight to the point. So you should, what you're trying to say now is that you should secure the bag before you secure the relationship. Yes, to show always, it's like the, it should be like in the holy grail of relationship. Or something, I don't know. But relationship without money is situationship. Do you agree with me, Linga? Yeah, I agree with you, man. 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Money, is very, money is very important. So yeah, since we already established the fact that money is very important in relationship and stuff. Um, so when do you feel like it's like is the right time to bring up the money talk in the relationship? When do you feel like it's right for you to say, okay, this is what we're going to talk about money. Are we sharing stuff, 50-50 and stuff like that? This is how our finances are going to look like and everything. When is the right time to bring up the conversation? Is it like immediately in the relationship, like after like one week, one month, six months, and stuff like that? Are you talking about dating or after marriage? No, anyway, relationship is relationship. Well, you don't have to wait till relationship to me. To well, if, if you guys are sitting dating, I'm not sure you guys owe each other any, any financial support. Yep. You are, you, are not, you, are not, you are not obliged to do it, unless if you, only if you want to do it. Yeah, well, like, when you're, let's say you're in a serious relationship, in a committed relationship, that you know, it's heading somewhere, okay. you So when is the right time to bring up the money talk? I mean, let me, let me come from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Money in a relationship is important. Mm -hmm. Like, if you truly love someone, you always want to get one or two things for the person, naturally. That's, yeah. the, that's what happens in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship is like, it's literally building together of um life or something so if that is if you're actually interested in building with people or with someone sorry not people someone yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, bad boy that's the issue now if you are interested in building with a person you must be prepared to be financially involved i mean now from both sides whether it's guy side or the, you know the girl side. Now, I'm not talking of the one sided relationship. There are so many one sided relationships happening in the world whereby it's a guy that's just giving the money, the guy is just, the girl is just. Yeah, well, but you don't feel like that's what the society has taught a lot of people. And tell you girls that, okay, when you're in a relationship, the guy handles everything. All the bodies of your life, you just drop it on the guy like that. Yeah, know, they, 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 they become fatherless, familyless, sisterless. <laughs> Everything every now because you are the boyfriend. <laughs> hey, well, that's one who already made them to understand. So let's talk about it now. Let's just talk about this way you're talking about about um people who put all your body on one side on one side because the person is in a relationship. Um, so do you believe in this 50-50 rule of oh we are sharing everything 50-50? No, that you I, 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 I don't believe in it. No, no, no. Coming from you that you said that you know owe somebody money. Yes. Right? You know what? But if I feel like, okay, you deserve it, I want to give, maybe I go out and I say something I like, okay, this guy, she's going to like this guy of stuff, I buy it for her. But not that to come with the money that... How will you feel when she did not buy anything for you? Then, ah, that, then that, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> that means you're doing something. But, 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 but it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean she, she owes me like she, she needs to bring it to me, for me. It doesn't, it doesn't mean. No, that's what you're trying to say. That when you buy it, you have to buy something for you. You don't, you don't, you don't owe each other. But if you feel like deserve, if you feel like deserve your money, if you feel like deserve your gift, you give it for me. Relationship and buying things. You know, relationship is more than just buying, buying stuff for people, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just about buying things. It's more about investing. 
you know, there are sometimes that, okay, so if our love language, if in quotes, our love language is money mm-hmm. and you know it, then it's, it's, not, it's not an obligation now. It's just necessarily, it's just something like, I say, a necessity to keep the relationship because I will not lie to you. If our love language is money, you are going to lose her if you don't give her money. Money for both sides is important. I'm saying it now for, now imagine a couple that actually believes that both of them have the same mentality of let's contribute to build this relationship financially. Maybe there's a project, maybe a house project they are building, uh, they are working on, maybe there's a, there's a car the guy needs or there's a car the girl needs. You got you got that kind of stuff. There are some people, those people that, sorry, that actually believe in 50-50. Now you can see how important money is. And so you, what, like now, forget those people. What about you? Are you? Do you believe in 50-50? Oh, you know, honestly, I don't like to you. I'm on the side because if you ask me, I do not, the moment relationship gets to, for me, or the moment relationship gets to the point whereby we have to keep track of things, it becomes boring. There should be a sense of intrigue or something, or something should be, there should be, I don't know, there should be spice to relationship, not, oh, I bought him a shoe this Christmas, next Christmas. So, 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 like, do you, do you enjoy the, um, you providing, do you enjoy being the provider or you want actually, actually you need support? Because a lot of girls are just used to guys providing for them and a lot of guys are taking up that responsibility of being the provider. How do you see them doing a lot of things that they're not supposed to do or not because they have to please like their woman mm-hmm. or something like that. So, yeah, um, What's the name? So, um, when, let's let's do this fifty fifty rule now. When you're going on a date with somebody, or let's say you are taking a girl out, do you do you expect her to pay for the date, and or you just have to pay for everything because you're the boss, you're the guy? Yeah, well, if I'm the one inviting the girl for the date, then all based on me. If she's the one inviting you, uncle. And I want to go. Out. Well, it depends. That only that the lady may say, okay, she wants to, she wants to, she wants to, she wants to pay the bill. That one is different. But if not. This can't be on me. That's what I need. If she wants to pay, will you allow her to pay? If she wants to pay, where? No problem. Um, you uh, talk about you pay. If that's, if, if that's what she wants, she, she asks for, no problem. Yeah. So I, I don't need to be forming that guy. You guys like to pamper too, you know? <laughs> pamper me, please. <laughs> <laughs> pamper me, please. Going Dutch actually is a very good idea for me on dates. But uh, to be realistic, you know, sometimes you must be very realistic. The kind of girl you date actually determines the kind of the how money is split in the relationship. You can't most girls, I, I'm sorry to say it, I, I let me not generalize. Let me not generalize. Some girls <laughs> you date. I am telling you, take them, take it or leave it. Sorry. <laughs> You're paying for everything. Even if she's having all the money in this world in her pocket, you're paying for it. Some girls, if they actually pay for the first date, trust me, that relationship is dead on arrival. Like, that is the end. You don't even, I, I, you don't don't even try, don't don't even try so, call them. Uh-uh. That was well, some, I, I, I some. think that's ash. That's a little bit ash. <laughs> I know why I'm saying it. You know, all of us have experience of dating people. You can only respect yourself as a guy. Now, using the majority of the girls in Africa, people people watching this will say, okay, fine, maybe kind of girls you have been meeting, you have not met all those I-class. I doubt even all those I-class babes, even Hotel Dola Pekin, if the career come out today, you guys pay at least to show, say, you have sense. If you try, reach there. For example, the Formula One idiot. I'm not saying now reach there, but be humble. Humility. Pay. The next date might not be okay, fine. For me, oh, this is my personal thought. So you're saying for like me, for the, the first date, date, the guy should pay. Then maybe the after. Should, it's, actually, it's actually more, I don't know how it sounds to me. There shouldn't be a conversation of who is paying or who is not paying on date. Really? When it comes to relationship. Naturally, to me, I'm talking about a new relationship. A new relationship. There shouldn't be a no. discussion on who or who not to pay. Okay. It should just come naturally. Okay, you are paying. Okay, don't worry, leave it. Oh, take this. You know, it actually says a lot about the person you are going out with. Mm-hmm. If a guy is paying for the first date, second date, third date, seriously, if you go in a relationship with that kind of person, you don't expect that kind of person to say she wants to be like really. Don't. I don't think you should expect that. 
For a babe that on the first day you on the first date you pay, second date probably you guys split, and maybe she even pays. Maybe after that like, tenth date, you guys have even lost track of who is who. Eh, eh. If you're that kind of person, you cannot be expecting say you cannot be expecting things like surprise gifts from that kind of person. But babe. <laughs> Nah, sure, but do parara parara for you. Exactly, babe. Wait, now you they pay all the dates. I should go take do parara for you on your birthday now. <laughs> Don't be expecting to get and box us. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, what do you think about um, ladies having more money than you in a relationship? Like, how will you cope? You know, I know guys have like their own ego and everything like that. That you want to be the man, you want to be in charge, you understand? Well, how will you feel when um, you find out that, or you just know that your partner has more money than you in the relationship? I think in African setting, African setting, the male ego won't want the lady to have more money. Oh yeah, your personal view. Personal view. Well, I won't, I won't like it to actually, I won't like it to. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you a personal experience. There was, there was, I have a friend, actually, she, she, she didn't grow up in the UK, but she lives in the UK. Like, she has been in the UK for a long while. Mm-hmm. We we're discussing normal relationship one day, and she told me something. She said that she doesn't mind working and I was not staying at home. Like, do, do, do you mind? Will you stay at home? I'll, I'll, I'll answer that. But let, let, me just, let me just hit a point here. She does not mind her working and the husband staying at home to take care of the children. That is not because it is, a, to me, I don't think it's a personal idea. It's an idea that was created from our environment, the environment she has stayed in. She has probably seen it happen. She has, and it works, and it worked well, you get. So she can actually buy into the idea. In Nigeria, you must work to take care of your family. That is the normal thing. You must work to take care of your family. Now, the gist is this. In terms of saying whether the wife earns more money, earns more money, or the husband, in that particular context, for me personally, hmm. for my experience, because now you know all of us are talking based on our experience. For my experience, from everything that that has, that has actually lived through in in the society, it is mm-hmm. advisable. My brain, as in my own ideology, says it doesn't. It, it's no big deal. But my inner spirit, me, myself, I'm telling myself that make sure that you're a bad man. You are marrying as a Yoruba man, sorry. I'm saying make sure you have money at least and the same thing your babe ends. Yeah. Why am I saying this? There's a thin line between Yoruba woman's disrespect and respect. A very thin line between a Yoruba woman disrespect. The same word no, a Yoruba please, woman. Because <laughs> The same, word, the, the same word a Yoruba woman who used to respect you, she used to disrespect you hmm. in the same context, the same scenario. So you must be very careful. There's no big deal. But our advice yeah, I like you, what you said. I like what you said about you generally, um, you personally, I say generally, you personally, you don't mind it. Or like because of the society and everything like that, it's very hard for exactly. you to so, deal with it. Yeah, that's why a lot of ladies, you find them, even if they have like more money than their partner, they try to like downplay their success, not because they cannot handle it, just because they feel like the guy cannot handle right. it. They feel like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Not that the, girl, the guy to handle it. The society cannot handle it. The society, the society we live in, has not made, has not developed to the point where we actually over not overthink some things. Don't blame society sometimes. Blame yourself because your ego cannot allow you. Mega already said it that. Ego will not allow you to allow that kind of thing to happen. Not because of society. Okay, okay. Uh, now, now, sorry. Let me just, before I allow kids to talk, let me just say something. The way girls actually come for guys' ego sometimes can be very, I don't know. I'm too proud. Any smarty, I'm a man. I'm a man. No, 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 no. On a more serious note, I've, I've had conversations with people and talking about guys and ego. Guys do not have 10% of egos that girls have. Guys generally, they just feel like, oh, they want to date independent women. You even said it too that you want to date someone that's independent that has her own thing. You get, she's a boss lady on her own. She has her own business. She's running everything. Let's see she has a company that she's running and stuff like that. And she's, she, 
um, she doesn't really ask you for anything. You get she because she is okay. Do you think that you're going to feel like insecure because she cannot? Um, because she doesn't need your help. She doesn't need you to provide for her because she has that provision by herself. She has her money, but that doesn't stop me from doing my part, from doing what I should do for her. That doesn't stop me from getting her gifts. That doesn't stop me from doing stuff that I should do in the house. So, so I want someone that that is independent. A boss, like a boss on her own. And you, you'll be again. okay when she when she's when she's not asking you for something. You'll be okay with it. Why would she Why would she ask me? Where she get money from? Why would she ask me for money? It's not where she getting money from. She's working now. No, but she's she, but she has to ask for money. Is that right? She must <laughs> ask for. <laughs> but forget. Naturally, I don't think there's any big deal. It will tell on your relationship. You see, relationship is a, you know it's a process. When a when a woman when a relationship, the reason why there's relationship is because you have to do it together. The moment she becomes independent, ah, then she's dating herself there, you know. I don't know why people like independent women, though, but naturally, I don't like indep independent, the ones that like to carry it for aid. Those kind of people, those kind of girls that actually take it as, I don't know, as a career to be independent women. I don't like them because no. naturally, that is a recipe for disaster. I don't. I don't want the independent woman that will. I know take it as a response. Take it as as a career. I want the independent woman that will actually know that there's a place for the man in her life. So if you can be independent in your business, as if you can, if you have the mentality of an independent woman in your business, and have the mentality of a team worker at home to be better. But if you take your oh, independence, I like that. I like that. I like that. I think everybody, I think, I think relationship is about um, two givers, you understand? Don't, don't, don't allow it to be like, yes. okay, one person is giving something and one person is just collecting because it's going to get tiring and boring yeah. at one mm -hmm. time. Do you believe in joint account, like joining your account with somebody else and because you are married and stuff like that or you are like in a proper, proper relationship? Yeah, you don't like it. <laughs>